Let's talk about deleting data in Bubble and if you should do it or not. So me personally, I don't really ever delete data within Bubble. Sometimes I do if it's just like I really need to delete it. But for the most time, I'm using a archive functionality that just allows me to simply archive it. So I'll go into any one of my user types and I'll create an YN underscore archive functionality. Now this alerts me that this is a yes or no field and I default that yes or no field to no. So in all my types, I have a YN archive field and all my listings, I constrain my archive to be no. So that way, if I ever archive anything that is yes, it doesn't show up in that listing. Now this allows my users to quickly delete things, which will re be removed from the listings, but also give them the ability to always bring it back if they need to bring it back. And deleting data in Bubble is costly and slow. And so just by having this as an archive a equals yes or no, it's quicker and it's cheaper to actually delete that data while still restoring the ability to bring that data back for your user. So it's for all these reasons that I don't really delete data in Bubble. Instead, I just do a soft archive on it and it works really well. So hopefully this can help you with your Bubble applications. And if you enjoyed this tip, please follow me for more.